And even though we will have some thunderstorms tomorrow night into Saturday, it will be nothing like what we saw 10 years ago tonight. The Good Friday tornado tore through Maryland Heights, Bridgeton and Lambert Airport before ending in the Metro East. At one point over Bridgeton, it strengthened to an EF4 tornado with winds over 165 miles per hour. That makes it one of the strongest tornadoes to ever hit our region. Our Casey Nolan was in Bridgeton covering the aftermath of the tornado 10 years ago. Yes, yeah, Scott, and tonight we had the chance to reconnect with the husband and wife who just barely survived that tornado when it took their home off its foundation. A former St. Louis police chief whose wife had to convince him, Scott, to take seriously what you were saying on the air. Came in on the evening of Good Friday, 2011, tossing and tearing through just about anything in its path, including the airport, causing damage that would take more than a year to fully repair. When the sun came up the next morning, there wasn't much left on this cul-de-sac of Beaverton Drive in Bridgeton. We've heard several stories in the neighborhood of people who actually say they feel lucky after this storm. This is one of the examples why. The tornado hit its highest wind speed here. The miles is right there. And Ron and Peggy Henderson's house. Uh, you all were uh, interrupting TV, the meteorologist was talking about the storm. But even as a former first responder, Peggy had to talk Ron into the basement just seconds before the tornado hit. So I got her down on the ground, got on top of her, and then it's just an assault. I mean, it was just a, like a vicious assault. Ten years later, the Hendersons and their neighbors have rebuilt. The memories of that night have not aged. And she said, what about upstairs? I could see the skies looking up the steps. I said, I don't think there is an upstairs. I can remember actually just praying, if you get me through this, then I know things will be okay and I'm here for a reason. Somehow, despite millions in damage from Maryland Heights to Madison County in the Metro East, no one was seriously hurt or killed. Prayers helped, the Hendersons say, as they helped each other survive the storm. She said to me, oh, you're my hero. You were on top of me. That lasted about 15 minutes. And then she decided, no, no, I'm the one that told you to come down. Well, you know, we had this discussion. And uh, she was right. I said, listen, believe me, anytime there's a tornado warning yes. or storm, then I'm on alert. Peggy says the experience makes her want to just stop and say thank you more in life. This morning, she actually called some of the people that helped them and their neighbors clean up. And with the recovery, there is one person, though, Mike, that she's lost track of a little boy with a red wagon whose mom brought him from somewhere outside of St. Louis to hand out sandwiches and water while they were cleaning up. She says she wonders where he might be 10 years later.